All right, guys, so we're back on the truck bed project. If any of you watched the previous video, you probably see, I don't know if you can see me or see anything. All right, so we're back on the truck bed project. If anybody actually watched that, they saw that the clear coat did not quite go as planned and it did not it did not I put three coats on tried to rescue it at the end and pretty much looks like we have shiny red uh, bed liner sprayed on the outside which was not the intent color turned out okay I mean the color coat looks good bodywork doesn't show any flaws but it looks like a shiny red bed liner. So, I guess looking back, I should have just stopped and dealt with the one side. But anyway, so we're gonna sand the clear back flat, and we will go in and repaint. So I've already wet sanded this whole side, plus I had a couple little specks I don't know what it was, but it was going to end up white. I could have dealt with one, but I had several. And I tried to uh, do like 1,200, and then I saw that. So, pretty much determined. Let's just go with 400 wet and flatten this back out. And plus, I, I wasn't too, too awful concerned. I burned through the, the red, but we've got enough. So, we'll sand this thing flat. We'll come back. I'm hoping tomorrow get this done, sanded, and tomorrow we can put another coat of paint on it properly. I got new, some new clear. The clear was awful thick. I think that was the problem. It's probably old. I probably could have reduced it, but this is not exactly my expertise. Every time I've done it before, I've ended up running it. Well, that was not the case here. This was like spraying mud on. So. Got a couple more spots to, I'll come back and, you know, I'm gonna do it now. Spray a little water. I've got 400 wet dry on a piece of foam. I also have a sanding block. Just a block with 400 on it. This one's a little more rigid. And just try to get that flat. Trying just to work in one small area at a time. The reason you use a block is so you don't dig your fingers in and have like fingerprint marks in it, finger grooves cut in it. Obviously, I didn't get enough clear on that area anyway. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do. Go and do a shiny area. I don't know if you can hear the difference. That's in the texture area. That's where I've already sanded a little bit. So you just kind of go along, go by feel. I kind of switch directions just like we were doing when we were block sanding the filler and the primer surfacer. So I'm sure you all quit watching here pretty quick, so I'm just going to turn you off. And we'll probably come back when it's time to repaint. Okay, we've resanded. Everything remask, wiped down. So now we're going to try this again. We're going to get the base coat and we'll start. All right, so we have the base applied, and I've done a test hit on a little panel on the front of the bed. So looks like looks like based on that, the clear is spraying like it should. So here goes.
There's one code. So that's one code to clear on to the second and we might do a third, here goes. Alright guys, so it's the next day and our paint job actually turned out pretty good. It's, I mean there's some dirt in it, but look we're outside. But there's not a ton of orange peel. It's pretty flat. Looks I'm I'm happy with it. Other than so when we started, I started on this side laying down the base and I got like a huge line across there and I guess it's where the wax and grease remover I was using didn't remove a line of dust and I guess I should have tacked it off hell I did tack it off so I don't know what happened but anyway in the first coat of base I got a big like line in it so I went on and did the rest of the truck tried to since I already had the paint mix tried to force wipe this off and it just made it worse and worse and I couldn't sand it. So the other side and the tailgate are done. The uh, this side I'm going to redo. No, complete it. I just stopped. So I need to sand out that and I'll rebase it and re-clear it one day this week. And then to add insult to injury because none of my projects don't have some sort of disaster in them. I had the fuel door hanging up on a piece of wire on the garage and after the last coat of clear it decided to fall off so it fell into that which is like rocks and leaves and all kinds of crap and look perfect too so I will get to sand all the clear and junk out of that I think this time I'm gonna go ahead and mount it and then it can't fall off so anyway we're gonna sand some of that mess out and prepare to uh, paint one side one day this week Go get it.